for me, this is where the XE1 comes into its own because I don't really want a crisp, sharp photo of this sunset. I want it to be a bit kind of textury and full of a bit of life and, you know, just have a bit of... Uh, and so, hopefully this camera will give me that kind of photo that I'm looking for. I am in the most gorgeous place. Look at this. Oh, this is the island of Lindisfarne. Look at that storm just there. It's epic. Amazing. I'm trying to get some photos of it, but the only problem is the fact that the wind's blowing this way and so it's just blowing the rain straight into the lens. One of the key one of the key things for me in finding my style in photography is, by the way, I'm literally just jumping over these rocks. So I have to keep keep looking up and down. Otherwise I'm gonna, gonna do my leg in. Um, yeah, one of the things for me that's important to finding style is to shoot for yourself. If you shoot for yourself, you will love what you're shooting. You will enjoy that and you will put something of you into that photo which will then kind of develop around who you are. You know, you've got, there's, a, there's kind of a, a process of when you are photographing what you love, you are able to um, open up your emotions into that photo. And then I think that really helps in kind of getting to that place where you kind of work out what you love. Because if you're shooting what you love, and you're not worried about what other people say, this is a really important thing, you know, because so many people have so many opinions, especially on YouTube um, and Instagram and all these places, you know, everyone's got their opinions. And actually, if you find yourself worrying about what other people think about you and about your photography, then it will stop you from being able to really express yourself and to push the limits. I love this spot here so much. These are, uh, you see these here? These are all prayer stacks, maybe? I'm not sure, piles of stones. Basically, they represent people's prayers. And uh, I love it. It's such a special place to be, somewhere where people pray. You know, for me, I look back and I see that a big influence on me was my granddad. You know, he was someone who was an incredible artist. In fact, you know, I grew up, I grew up around artists and creators of their day. You know, <laughs> when I was young, there was no YouTube, there was no Instagram, there was no creators in the way that we understand it today. But when I grew up, you know, my great uncle was, he was a potter for a living. My granddad was an artist. You know, today my sister's an artist. My mom's an artist. I grew up around art and photography and kind of creative people. And I look back now and realize it had a really big influence on me. And more than that, it has an influence on who I am today as a photographer. You know, I now realize that the reason I love color, 
blocks of color or tones of color and texture is all to do with that experience that I had as I was growing up watching my granddad paint and um, watching him just mix colors and those types of things. And so now I kind of seek and are drawn to those things and that's helped me to um, kind of work out my style and work out what I like. I know that I love a kind of an analog, slightly faded, slightly grainy, slightly kind of not in focus <laughs> photograph. What many people might call a bad photo. That's what I'm drawn to. I love it because it's you can't quite, you know, you it's not you can't quite sum it up. You just can look at it and look at it and look at it and every time you see something different, that's what I'm drawn to in photography. And so now I look at my cameras as just like paintbrushes. I often think of them like that. You know, I'm thinking of them as a kind of a means to to kind of create what I'm trying to create on on the uh, on, on the photo. So I go for like the Fuji XE1, XE2, that type of sensor that's a bit older because it's the closest I can get to analog while still shooting digital. You know, I found over the years it's quite expensive to, expensive to shoot um, analog. You know, you kind of buy it cheaply and think this is a great way of taking photos cheaply. But <laughs> over the years, you spend a lot of money on film. It's pouring with rain. So I'm having to try and cover the camera and get the shot at the same time. It's brilliant, so much fun. Look at that. For me, this is where the XE1 comes into its own because I don't really want a crisp, sharp photo of this sunset. I want it to be a bit kind of textury and full of a bit of life and, you know, just have a bit of... Uh, and so, hopefully this camera will give me that kind of photo that I'm looking for. What a place.